All right, so my apologies in advance. This is gonna be a shaky video because I have to record this on my phone because once again, I forgot my camera at the office, but I could not go without doing this vlog today, uh, especially considering what I just went through um, the last, uh, maybe last five hours or so. I was concerned because I thought earlier this morning that I wouldn't have anything to talk about because I was like, for the most part, everything's cool. You know, nothing to talk about really. But this afternoon, everything changed. Oh, by the way, um, say hello to the beans. We're going on our walk. So if you're wondering why I'm looking around or things start to suddenly get shaky, it's because they're pulling on the leashes or eating something they're not supposed to. But uh, I just experienced um, kind of a, a nice roller coaster of emotions and experiences today. This afternoon, um, I had a really high profile guest for uh, an upcoming podcast, and I was really nervous about it. Um, previously, a few weeks ago, I had a, a high profile guest, and I went into it thinking that, you know, I'd be pretty comfortable, and I thought I, was, I had to, some confidence going into it that uh, it'd be a good interview and that I'd do a good job and I'd be okay interviewing this person. And um, it didn't, it, I mean, the interview turned out fine and it was actually really great, but it wasn't exactly as uh, smooth or um, I wasn't as confident uh, as I would have liked to have been. And afterwards, I kind of, you know, hindsight's 2020 and thought, oh man, I wish I did this instead, or I wish I approached it this way. And, you know, just really critiquing myself uh, and how I could have done a better job. And it, it didn't go. 100% great, you know, I would say it was like a nice 80, 85, which is good, but I want those 90, 95, hundreds. Um, and so this time around, uh, I, I had in my head what I wanted to do to um, make it different and make sure that I, I get that 95, 100% on it. And so uh, the interview went great. I felt like I did my 95 to 100. I was super happy and I felt just like on top of the world really and, and really proud of myself and, and feeling a little more confidence in myself because I was able to succeed, you know, and in, in, in overcoming my fears and, and nervousness and concerns and just, uh, you know, being able to realize that I did have the ability to 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 do it, you know, to get the job done and 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 be happy with it. So I go from that point to something that I just did a vlog about that I needed to work on. And that is trying to please other people um, because I, I, out of fear of offending them or um, not wanting them to be mad at me when really I'm the one that should be uh, the one that they're worried about offending or, or the upsetting me. Um, Oh, there they go. These, look at these crazy dogs. They're upset because there's a dude. Where is it? Skateboarding somewhere down there. And they they despise skateboards for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, um, on the business side of things, I had gone out and hired somebody to do. Uh, or a company to do service for us. Um, I didn't feel like I got what I had um, paid for, and I didn't understand what they gave me, uh, and that it wasn't. It didn't look like what I what I wanted, and what I needed, and so when they called me to explain it. Um, you know, and I was very nice about it and I was trying to be understanding because I, I came from the position of maybe it's because I just don't understand and when they explain it to me, I'm like, oh, this is, this is what I wanted or this is what I needed. Thank you for explaining to me where it was or how to look at it. But the person I spoke to came across so aggressively and was being really rude to me and, and almost like trying to intimidate me, you know, and questioning me. Um, and I was trying to be calm about it and, and answer the questions, but I started to feel like 
you know, I did something wrong and I was, you know, almost coming across as apologetic and um, trying to over explain myself as I had talked about before. And uh, hold on one second, I have to do something here. Back on track here. If Jamie did cut this part out, thank you very much, dear. And uh, I will explain to you that uh, I had to cut away for a second because the camera is getting really shaky because I had to go pick up some poop. But we're all good now. So back to what I was saying. So um, yeah, so you know how I was saying the other day about that customer service person when I was canceling my subscription and I was over explaining myself when really all I just had to say is, hey, I want to cancel. And if they're asking me questions about it, you know, I just say, sorry, you know, I just need to cancel it. You know, there's no reason for me to explain it. Um, but I wanted to be nice and then I felt bad. So same thing here, you know, I just needed to know the answer to my question. If the thing that, that they sent, that they gave to me was in fact how I was reading it. In, uh, in a nutshell, yeah, that's what it was. So it wasn't what I wanted, but I should have just left it at that. But of course, because she was interrogating me and questioning me and trying to trying to make me feel like I did something wrong. I had to, you know, explain myself and and it just turned into this really uh, high pressure conversation. And I ended up trying my best to give my energy to try to calm her down and make and be like, I'm sorry, no, 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 you're good. Thank you. Really appreciate like trying to be overly nice when really she didn't deserve that um, because I don't know. I, I'm the customer, I'm the one that paid and and I asked for a service and it wasn't to my to my expectations. And now I have to deal with an inferior product that I'll have to, you know, deal with, which will cost me more. So, you know, I don't un and I didn't think about it that way until we hung up and Jamie was really upset with me, saying like, you know, you just talked about this. Why do you do that? And you're you're apologize you're like you know apologizing and and talking so unnecessarily to them when you just needed to know the answer it is what it was and just hang up and thank you goodbye that's all it needed to be it didn't need to turn into this long drawn out emotional conversation and you know she then got really critical of me saying that you know this is something that you have to work on and being that I'm the CEO of the company, I can't allow this, you know, uh, trait and habit of mine to continue because we're just going to get stomped on and taken advantage of by everyone if I continue to operate this way. And that's tough to hear, to go from, man, you did such a great job and we accomplished such a great accomplishment with this great interview and, you know, I was able to vanquish my my doubts and and earlier uh, insecurities on the podcast and then to go drop all the way back down and be like man I need to work on a lot of things I handle that so poorly my personality um, is detrimental to you know our business's success I gave power to someone who didn't deserve it and I took away my own power uh, for no reason, no good reason. So that's tough. Um, this is something that is uh, difficult for me to think about. It stressed me out hearing about it as Jamie's explaining it to me and telling me. All I could hear is disappointment and frustration, and I don't want to be the source of that. And I know that's not, you know, that's not what her intent was. Her intent is to help educate me, help bring to light things that I need to work on that will make me better and encourage me but yeah, it's hard to hear man uh, you just want to be all good all the time which is unrealistic but that's what you wish for right so uh, it's just I just figured this would be a good one to share as far as kind of how it goes sometimes and I continue to try to work on this part of my life Again, sorry for the really shaky camera. Uh, I hope you were able to just look away and listen and hear and get something good from it. All right.
All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, hey, can you do me a favor? If you like the video, can you hit that like button for me? And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too, so that we can continue on this journey together. All right, and uh, hey, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, let's continue this conversation in the comments below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye.